You met Mike Peters a little earlier in the program. I want to introduce you now to Charlotte's daughter, Pat Schwartz. She's married to Herb Schwartz, and together, a little commercial here. Yeah. They have the best barbecue restaurant in St. Louis, Charlotte's Rib. In her honor? That's right. You've done a great job, kid. <laughs> Thank what you. was it like growing up with Charlotte Peters, the persona? It was very, very exciting because we always had front row seats wherever we went. Uh, we had a chance to see Carol Channing, Ethel Merman, uh, Ringling Brothers, um, Emma Kelly, and of course, sometimes along that evening, there would always be emphasis on where we were sitting, who we are, and boy, you know, it kind of made it glamorous for us. But also remember something, too, is that Mom would always, would always give us instructions. Now, make sure you sit right. Don't fidget. <laughs> for God's sake, make your hair and your makeup look right. You're my daughter. You're my son. You're our grandchildren. Now, present yourself well. And you always felt like, ta -da, cameo. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that, that always, you know, you always have a plus and you always have a minus to sure. go along I with understand. it. I understand. But along with that, when she lost the... The Charlotte Peters persona with you on a personal basis. Uh, you had a pretty close relationship. We had a very good one. Like Mom, we used to always say we were friends as well as daughter. And and Mom, uh, give you an example. Mom would call me um, the night before and she'd say, "Sweetheart, I haven't seen you in a long time. Come on over for a cup of coffee and talk to me." And I'd say, "Okay." So, so we'd get the kids off. Come on over. Mom would be upstairs in the bathroom getting ready to put her face on. And as she put her face on. I would sit about the second uh, stair to the top, and we'd sit, and she'd say, now, as I'm out doing this, tell me what's happening with the kids, how's Herb, how's business, how's your life, let's share. And yeah. that was prime time. Yeah. That was us. You told me a story some time ago, and I remember it, about being recognized. And of course, she was recognized wherever she went. Oh, yeah. But you told me a sweeping the patio episode. She would, Saturday was her time, no makeup, no wig, just Mrs. William Peters. And she would get out, she'd be sweeping the patio or fixing the flowers. And this one time, this UPS gentleman came with a parcel for mom. Well, you know, they're very meticulous and they want to give it to the right person. And mom was there, but he didn't recognize her. And she, she gave him the impression that she was the housekeeper. And she said, I, 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 listen, I'll be glad to take it from Miss Peters. I'm her housekeeper and giving it to me is like giving it to her. Well, the guy was very reluctant, but he did. Two days later, the UPS guy, the head, called to verify had Charlotte received that parcel. And Mama said, oh, my God, yes. She said, oh, you know, that, that woman is such a dear. She said, you know, giving it to her is like giving it to me. To get off the phone, and she would laugh. And she'd say, Willie, guess what? They believe me. <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was super. She yeah. loved practical jokes. You, you mom like all of us, had, I'm sure, her share of disappointments. But one thing that always stood out in my mind was that, at least outwardly, she had a very positive philosophy. Yeah. When things got kind of rough, Mama would say, Sweetheart, life is like a lemon. To survive, you got to take it, you got to squeeze it, sweeten it a little bit, and make lemonade out of it. <laughs> and, you know, we've lived with that. And when things have gotten bad, we've remembered. It's worked great. So I'm passing it on. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? I'm on the whole day long. Yeah. I'll do the cooking, darling. I'll pay the rent. I know the dirty you roar. Remember that rainy day that I threw you out with nothing but a fine tooth comb. I know that I'm to blame. Well, honey, ain't that a doggone shame? Bill Bailey, won't you please come home? Come on, everybody, and sing. Listen to that. That's good tapping stuff. That's it. Now you're getting in there now. You're coming to the end now. Bring it up. Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? I'm on the whole day long. Yeah. I'll do the cooking, darling. I'll pay the rent. I know the dirty you roar. Remember that rainy day that I threw you out with nothing but a fine tooth comb. 